Hey everybody, this is Jake with TrendSpider, and for this week's strategy guide blog post, we are going to go over um, a common misconception, um, especially as of recently, that our platform really only spits out one set of trend lines, um, but really, our platform is a customizable platform to automate what trend lines you are looking for. So in this case, this is our default settings, and the way I get to these settings is just go up here, so I'll click the settings, icon it will take me to these settings here and right now these numbers really probably don't make a whole lot of sense to you essentially when we lower these numbers it makes the system more sensitive to finding trend lines so for example when we go on manual tuning here we're not going to see a ton of trend lines however i'm going to show a new setting set that is going to make the system a little more sensitive increase the amount of trend lines that happen on manual tuning it will pollute the chart a little bit but it should find the general trend lines you're looking for right away and without having to do manual tuning. So we will go to this setting set, which is 10, 10, 10, another 10. And then this will be five and this will be 40. So essentially when we change these, our settings are completely different now. And so you'll see that all a ton of different trend lines are gonna pop up now because we just made the system a lot more sensitive. So um, in this case, look at how many trend lines we have. That's not that helpful right now, but when we turn manual tuning off, we can see that a lot more of the relevant trend lines that we've found are, uh, excuse me, that we were like trying to look for are now showing up. So we see that we are kind of trading right at this confluence of resistance area, uh, this resistance area right here. Essentially, we've got one, two, three areas of resistance kind of coming together. Um, so this will definitely give you a better idea of price channels and wedges. So let's go to a different one. Let's go to uh, QQQ. We'll go to unhide everything. And so these are some of the trend lines that will pop up. Now, some of these trend lines are previous trend lines that I have locked. So these locked trend lines are gonna be saved in the system from when I previously had the, uh, these trend lines locked on this chart. So in this case, these are some of the trend lines I had locked. Let's go to another one. We'll go to, let's say Boeing Airlines, or not Boeing Airlines, excuse me, Boeing Company. Um, and what we can see here is we've got a very strong channel kind of found without having to do any type of manual tuning. So. In this case, the these settings really found the price channel that was relevant at the point. So first we broke out through this, this wedge, and now we're breaking out through the channel resistance here. So um, these settings aren't gonna be your end all be all. You may find that tweaking these a little bit are gonna find a little bit um, more what you're looking for. However, I have found using these settings that these will definitely help finding wedges and price channels. So definitely give it a try. If it's not um, exactly what you want to look for, remember you can always toggle these. You can change this to five. You can you know you can toggle this to really an experiment to see what you're trying to see. Remember this is completely customizable. Our platform is not made to kind of take away the personalization out of the charts. It's just made to help your trading and charting become more efficient, especially with these types of settings where you can kind of change uh, the platform to see what you want to see. All right, everyone, thanks so much for listening in for this week's Strategy Guide blog post, and we will have another one coming up uh, next week. Thanks so much, and have a great week.